Welcome back to Show Sunday, our second one of the whole uh, year, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, I didn't do the pause yay thing, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a little bit of You're credit. growing. <laughs> I'm character development. Um, so today, as we prefaced uh, last time, we watched uh, Madoka, which is... Um, okay, I guess I have to do my short introduction of it. Yes. There's not really much of a precedent except, um, like, one previously, so I'm gonna do my best and hopefully over time we'll get better at these, but okay. So I watched Madoka, like, either right before it ended or right after it ended, so very close to when it aired back in, like, uh, 2012 or 13. Something and, like um, uh, well, when I watched it, I thought it was, like, really interesting because I had heard through osmosis that it was um, an interesting take on the magical girl genre and in general I think in the past since I didn't watch that many I had not a very positive experience with magical girl animes because I, I mentioned before that I was more of a shonen kind of person so I gave it a, a shot and um, I thought it was really interesting like I, uh, I don't know like I feel like I still do like it. I think it's just that over time, like, there are certain things that you retain and certain things that, like, um, you think about. And I think just overall, I... It wasn't, like, a bad ex <laughs> Like, I think, I don't know. I watched the movies, um, when they came out, like, uh, the wrap-up of the series for part one and two, and then the third movie, which was, like, the penultimate chapter. And, uh, I didn't really like Rebellion, um, when I watched it, so I think maybe that's why I kind of thought more about, like, how I looked at the series, so coming back to it was kind of interesting. But, um, neither of these two had seen it, um, I had intended to come back to it at some point, so I thought now was a good time. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess I'll go first, okay. since the reason I didn't watch it is... I guess a little bit more funny. <laughs> okay. Um. So the reason I didn't watch Madoka when it first aired and thus after was because when I don't remember if it was like just the first few episodes that come out or if like they were just suggesting that it was going to get aired and stuff like that. But when I saw the poster, I thought that it was going to be like Tokyo Mew Mew because all the colors that the girls have are the exact colors as Tokyo Mew Mew. Except red. Except red. Instead of red, there's green. But regardless, it's nearly the same. And the purple girl and the pink girl look like almost identical. Or I guess you could argue the blue girl also looks kind of identical. Of course, now I know that th that was on purpose and everything, because, as Maya said, it's supposed to be a, a different take on the magical girl genre. But at the time, I was not interested whatsoever, because I thought that would be like Tokyo Mew Mew, and I have bad memories of Tokyo Mew Mew, so... I'm guessing yeah. that's not going to be uh, your next show Sunday. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even watch the anime. It was from the manga that I had bad memories of because oh, no. I remember a lot of people were reading it. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll try it out. So one day when we were in Barnes & Nobles, I was like, okay, well, like, without buying it, I can just like read it and stuff like that. So I read it and my little sixth grade self was not happy. <laughs> I guess you can kind of infer how old we are from this. Um, so, Valen, uh, what was your thing going into um, this? I'd heard of it. I'd heard the name. I knew it was Magical Girl with a Twist. Um, I knew that too, yeah. I didn't know anything really beyond that. I mean, I could kind of guess, like, the way that it's fra that people frame the talk around it, even if it is like non spoilery, you have an idea of kind of like mm -hmm. at yeah. least the, yeah. the tone. That's the selling point of it. Yeah, and so okay, the problem that I'm thinking is like, how are we gonna talk about this? Because I feel like if there is someone who like hasn't seen it, right? So because you think we we yeah. saw half of it, we saw the first six episodes, right? Yeah, they mm -hmm. don't know. Well, 
Tara might know very marginally how it ends because I did talk about it a little bit since you said that you wouldn't watch it, so I gave you some of the spoilers, I think. Yes, Not and them. I think through osmosis of going to conventions and seeing certain things, yeah, the, the spoilers are very evident, especially when people sell art of the spoilers. Oh, well, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm going to have a really hard time like talking about the plot, so I'm going to mostly be talking about whatever complaints you guys have about the animation. <laughs> Oh, well... I can try to talk about a little bit of the plot if, um, like, neither of you want to finish it. So, uh, I guess, to viewers, if you haven't watched Madoka and you're interested in Magical Girl with a Twist, uh, you should probably just go watch it. Yeah, I don't I, really know. I feel like the only thing I can say in terms of non-spoilery, um, is... I did not dislike it. And keep Yay! in mind, this is me... <laughs> talking about, you know, a Magical Girl anime, and I'm, okay, when I think Magical Girl anime, the first thing I think of, and probably some purists would think that I would hate me for saying this, but the first thing I think of is Sailor Moon, okay? <laughs> and I'm thinking, there is no fucking way you can get me to watch Sailor Moon. Like, I'd rather shoot myself in the fucking nose than watch Sailor Moon, and yet I was fine with this. So that's the framework that I'm going at it, okay? So, Yeah. <laughs> And there is some, like, stuff that's, like, that is, like, tropey in that sense where it's, like, okay, you know, but it's not that bad and it's not, it's mostly, like, near the beginning. Um, so, yeah, that that's my short summary of it, I guess. <laughs> as non-spoilery as possible, because it's extremely hard to talk about anything specific. I guess since Brian mentioned it, I'll, I'll talk about the animation as the artist. Um... Yeah, the animation can be a bit hard. It's, bad. It, it's yeah. There are parts of it where it's really janky, and I have known that. Um, I know these. There are parts where I was like, it kind of took me a little bit out of the experience because I was like, they definitely used green screen here. Yeah. <laughs> They're not walking in the right way. <laughs> He's like. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about like the the movements like lining up with stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The environment. Okay, because I was about to say, I'm like, I'll be honest, I didn't really notice that, <laughs> but that might be because I'm kind of blind. Um, I, for me, I noticed, I normally don't notice it too much, but I think what got me is they were walking in a hallway, and I was like, wait a minute, they don't look like they're moving. And then I looked out at their feet, and their feet were lined up to the floor. Oh, I did see that like once. In okay, the same yeah. Place. I was like, Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. No, that's how I started noticing. Okay, because I was thinking of... like when you said animation, I really thought of like the colors, and I'm like, are you guys no, crazy? Because like... <laughs> the, yeah, colors, well, the are colors are excellent. Are <laughs> yeah, the colors are pretty good. It's just like the actual like. Okay, I I guess that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I the think actual I... movement. I... Yeah, I kind of mentioned that um, the animation would be weird in like, like not the janky parts, but like. The witch areas. I actually like, think the witch parts were probably the best animation. Yeah, because they were just the weird, oh, yeah. super weird. So honestly, I think that's where all the budget went into because, like, all the regular school scenes are awful. Yeah. But all the scenes with the witches and stuff are really like interesting to look at. Like at at first, when I first watched the series, I was like, "This is a lot of chaos." But then over time, I was like, "Actually, it's a very interesting aesthetic." So yeah. it grew on me. And, and I think. Yeah, the, the witch parts were definitely the best in terms of the animation thing, because if it, they if their feet don't line up with the floor, they're in a labyrinth anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, reality doesn't don't have matter a floor. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah. it doesn't matter, so it doesn't take you out of anything. Yeah, and, well, uh, in a school room, it's like, what, is, what are fuck? you doing? <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I guess that's a little bit of work. It's like, I would... I would definitely argue though that like the use of color is really good though in terms of, like yeah, the background definitely the use so, of color is really ac yeah especially in the opening I think the opening is strangely kind of sexual in a little bit of places but the, on the other hand you can kind of well see that's the thing the op okay if again for my framework if you have not seen this and you're looking at the poster and you're like mm, and then if you see the opening like on youtube and you're like uh i'm gonna say don't just again i felt the same way I don't have a problem. Okay, so that's yeah. that's what I would say. 
But, like, literally the first five minutes of episode one, these two were just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So, the cold open is really cold. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess if you haven't seen it, that's sort of, I guess, the recommendation. I think we all at least recommend it to some amount, I think. Um, yeah. But... And again, I could see that's I could still see that like maybe it's still not for you given what it is, but it's not what you immediately think it is. But I don't even want to say any more than that and like at all if you haven't seen it. But yeah, so I guess moving forward now, spoilers. Okay, um, where to begin? <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, wait. I think I'll start first. Okay. Yeah. As the person who's actually watched other magical girl animes in this room <laughs> um please enlighten me what please enlighten me <laughs> okay well i can't really enlighten you too much because the ones that i've seen are not are not sailor moon <laughs> well, i ha did watch the new sailor moon but that's beside the point um Okay, so the you know how in the first episode of Monica they put a lot of focus on like the dreams and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So watching this, I realized where they took certain like magical girl tropes from. So the whole thing with Monica, like the beginning episode, beginning with like a dream, and then later on when Homura comes and stuff, I realized that. That was really similar to like two plot points in Cardcaptor Sakura. Oh, really? Because the first episode of Cardcaptors is her in a dream, not knowing what was going on and stuff like that. And then later on, um, she has a dream, and that's where um, one of the other char main characters is introduced. And then later on, he he appears, and then they also don't get along. Oh wait, I think I actually remember this. Yeah. I won't reveal too much. I don't think Valen's gonna watch it, but in case anyone else is listening, there are other ref. This, yeah, there are a lot of references because there's actually one reference I really appreciate from an anime that I love that no one watched. Because you um, mean the opening sequence where she's running, and that's similar to the other opening sequence where. Uh, no, actually, but that is another thing. Um, the thing I'm referring to is that I think it was a scene with Sayaka, um, and you see, like, the weird chairs in the room. Uh, that was from, I think, episode uh, five or six. I think that was when she went to visit Kyosuke. I don't remember. I don't re recall the scene. Well, anyway, um, that, that's a reference to Bokurano, which is a, an anime that I love, but no one watched, so... I appreciate that nod to it. Um, what other things can I infer from? Um, in a way, Ryan's gonna hate me for saying this. <laughs> there are a couple of things that did remind me of Sailor Moon 2 from what I understand of, um, from watching the Sailor Moon Crystal. <laughs> but... What a cringeworthy experience. Well, that'll be for another day. Um, but yeah, so it was kind of interesting going through and seeing, like, oh, I kind of know where they probably took this one thing from, and stuff like that. Another thing that I find kind of interesting is that usually in Magical Girl animes, I don't know about now because I haven't watched any recently, but... There would be a lot of focus on like the transformation scenes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I wish they do focus on here a little bit, but it's not it's as. It's not this like two minute long sequence. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. Two minute long sequence. It's a bit quick, like um, how they handled it in Princess Tutu, where it's like yeah. there right. and it's. Done. Captures where there is like literally like 30 seconds and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, and then it's done. Yeah. Back to the plot, yeah. which actually matters. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was the. I thought that would be a good thing to start off. <laughs> okay. Um, I think the main thing about the opening is I'm just like, huh? Where again, we I've seen half of the show, and I'm like, literally the main thing in the opening about her actually being the you know Madoka being a magical girl, I'm like, hasn't happened yet. 
<laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So now I'm kind of wondering, like, is it actually ever going to happen now? Um, which, at this point, I'm 50-50. Uh, but, <laughs> I, you know, so there's that. Um, and then, like, in terms of just the, in general, like, there's a lot in this in terms of, like, the character decisions where mm -hmm. it, it's one of those things where, like, they don't really make the right decisions, but, like, you kind of understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Right? And so, because, like, a lot of times I feel like if, if oh, you know, a character's like, I'm going to do this because I want to, and it's, like, usually that comes off as, like, shut up, you're just being stupid, right? And you, like, mm -hmm. and you hate it, right? But here it's, like, you kind of get it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's something that I appreciate. And just that, like, it is, like, a legitimately kind of interesting thing of what's going on, right? Mm. Um, so that's something um, that's definitely worthwhile in that sense. And there is this kind of, like, there's a sense that something is off from, like, really early on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just that I'm, like, primed for it or not. Um, but, yeah, so that was something also. Um... Uh, again, it's, it is. It, uh, now that I'm thinking, about, I feel like I, when I came into this, I was like, I have so much to say. But now that I'm thinking about, it, I'm like, I kind of don't because I don't actually know where this is gonna go. So yeah, like it, if you have a lot of questions, it's normal because um, well, duh, we're certain ready. things haven't been, you mm. know, they haven't been answered yet. Yeah. By the series. Yeah. The, the there are certain answers that I know that I know I can't say. <laughs> yeah. It, but um. <laughs> well, okay. L like, let me play, place it this way: when my you said. That your favorite character, I believe you said this, was Kyoko, right? Or Kyoko. Yeah, she is my favorite yeah. character. So when you said that, I was like, okay. And then we saw episode five, and I'm like, Maya, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> 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 and then, okay, at this point now with episode six, I'm like, okay, maybe I can see where she's coming from, but and like where this may go. But I'm just like, I'm watching episode five, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This person's horrible. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> If you finish the series, then you'll understand okay. why I like her so much. Okay, I guess that works, because I'm just like, um, are you okay? <laughs> Did someone <laughs> hurt you? <laughs> no, I, I, I know the impression she gives off. Because hey. I was Oh, like, uh, random note. Uh, when listening to the music and everything, I was like, wait a minute, this sounds really familiar. And then I realized that it kind of sounded similar to Pandora Hearts, and then my, my, I think you looked it up and you found out that that was true. Yeah, it's the same composer. So it's, uh, mm. Yuki Kajira. She did Pandora Hearts and Madoka as well as some other anime. Yeah, I specifically, uh, said that, like, especially the part with, like, the, the chanting stuff, like, that reminded mm. me a lot of the Nier Automata soundtrack, which is not the same person at all. Um, yeah. but... I really uh, like the music. Yeah, the music's pretty good too. Yeah. Music and colors are very yeah. nice. It's just the yeah. actual animations. A yeah, bit the weird. actual animations kind of janky. I, I'll, again, I'll be honest. I didn't really notice it most of the time. So, but then again, I, I, I have been watching uh, Dragon Prince, and that also has kind of an animation issue as well, where mm. like the basically it's like all of the characters have like a low frame rate. Oh. oh, so it does look kind of janky. It looks better like after season one, but it, especially season one, it's like this looks a little weird. Like it makes you think it off. makes you think your computer's like lagging sometimes because it's like <laughs> it's like every it's like you know I don't know it's it's a little weird. But again, it, like to me, like that doesn't matter as much as long as like the characters and the plot are interesting and it's like you know yeah. they are. So there you go. Yeah. But um, I feel like there's something else. I mean, it's still something to watch. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Not oh, um, I dog. will endorse the dub. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah. Because I, I was another thing, like, especially... I, I was kind of pushing to... I, I pushed her, like, could you make sure the dub is, like, watchable? Because <laughs> I, I have a natural aversion to the stereotypical young female Japanese voice. It's... I find it really grating, so... Yeah. Yeah, this... Anime has a lot of like talking, so if you can't keep up with the subtitles, then it is better to watch the dub. Um, yeah, the dub was pretty good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is definitely a dub that I would endorse if you have a preference to dubs or mm -hmm. if you can only watch dubs, then go for it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't say like it's amazing, but it's know, not amazing. It, but it, it does its job. It doesn't, well. yeah, like feel out of place or anything. Mm -hmm. um, what else should we 
Um, I'm like trying to think of what the next one is. <laughs> yeah, I, again, I'm kind of like I feel like I I will have more to say what if I were to like finish it, right? But mm -hmm. you know, I have not done that. Um, I mean, is there anything specific anyone could think of? Why is there anything you want to talk about that's you know not spoilery that you can still bring up? I guess the main the main thing people always ask, like other people who are just new to Monaco, is like, how did you feel about mommy and how she died? I guess. Okay, I um... okay, I, I had two things going into that. The first was that I I had this sense, like from very early on, that like I had the feeling that she was like bad somehow. Mm. Oh yeah, okay, and that's interesting. I, 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 oh, she seemed too nice. So I was like, I agree so with I that. was like, yeah. there's yeah. something wrong with that, right? So I thought maybe somehow she was like bad, and so that was part of it. But then the other thing was, um, like, uh, when the the whole thing of that labyrinth or whatever, where she does die, um, leading up to that, I thought Sayaka was going to die because, mm. um, like how the whole thing is, she's I I get the th the only thing I knew going into this is that with the twist or whatever, or with. It was that I knew it had something to do with Kyubei. I didn't know any details about that, but I know there was something up. So I'm like, okay, it's Sayaka and Kyubei going into this oh, labyrinth I by themselves to supposedly no, deal I with see. this. I'm like, this is not going to go well. So that's why I thought Sayaka was going to die. Uh, she didn't. So, well, she didn't then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so that was the thing where I was like, okay. Um, that was what I was thinking. But then, yeah, when she did, I don't know, like, I, I will say, um, Again, a as a uh, American person who speaks the English, um, she has an unfortunate name. Yeah, mommy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll be real. I don't like mommy, and like even more so after I watched the third movie. Mm. I I'm not a fan of her. So. Yeah, again, because it feels like she's because this thing. I'm like, you're too nice, so something's wrong. Right? Yeah. But apparently, no, that's just how she is, I guess. I mean, there could be some reveal later that could change I mean, that. We, but... we, never, we won't know. So... Because <laughs> she got axed. Yeah, um, well, it could be some, like, reveal later where they, like, go back and are like, oh, wait, we learned this thing about her or something, you know, so maybe, true. but... Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, you do, but whatever. Asterisk. Uh, <laughs> um, so... There was that, and then... Oh, okay, well, actually, we were talking about this uh, before we actually started recording this. So, the whole thing at the end of the sixth episode, um, with their, like, oh, that the, their bodies, or the, the soul is the important part, basically, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, soul gem is the soul, and... It, it, it turns out it wasn't a plot twist for me or Valentine. Well, no, it was a plot twist for me, it was just I had a feel, I had kind of semi-predicting it by the beginning of episode five. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm curious now at the point, because I've always said that the important thing about a twist is not that it's unexpected. That's not the important mm. part, right? The important part is how does it work in the actual narrative, both leading up to mm. the twist and then after the twist. And in that case, mm. it seems to work quite well. Um, and I'm curious to see where this goes from here, um, in that case, to just know how that works. Um, and the consequences of that, I guess. So, that's something. I don't know, it was just... Yeah, so... Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff swirling in my head right now, but I can't pin it down just because, again, I haven't seen it all. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess my reaction to Mommy was... I knew it already going into it. I think it was actually an AMV that um, spoiled it for me. No. <laughs> I think you know which one I'm talking about, me. They showed it at um, the Masquerade ones. Oh, Live in La Vida Madoka? <laughs> No, the the one where it was like all the anime in high school and oh, stuff, and it was oh. like anime one hundred and one, and then they mentioned like cues with mommy and everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. <laughs> and they showed her headless, so I was like, okay, she's gonna be decapitated at what some point? <laughs> I know that that's going to be what happened so i was like so when it came up i was kind of like okay so this is my main concern going into that was how gory it was going to be but and it, it wasn't it wasn't gory so if anyone was concerned about that then yeah this anime is pretty gore friendly there's like none it's just 
you see people get hurt, but yes. it's yeah. not really, you know, hard to look at unless you just don't like violence. <laughs> yeah. No, no uh, conservative Christian mothers allowed. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Do you have any other questions for us? Um. Okay. Oh, I, I guess the thing with the plot twist is, I actually thought that I had known about it, but I thought they had discussed it earlier. So. I thought this was a different plot twist because my mentioned there was a plot twist, so I was gearing myself for a bit different plot twist. But then it turned out that it was yeah. When you mentioned that perhaps you could have inferred that it was explained before, then I could see how you would. Because I think I that. thought that it was explained before when like Homer was talking to uh, Madoka on the bridge and they were by themselves after Mommy died. I was like. Oh, okay, they mentioned it now, like when she says that you sell your soul to the thing and stuff like oh, that. Like, yeah. okay, I understand. Okay, that they mentioned it now, so that's why I thought that this part was something different because they already mentioned it already. But it turns out, I guess <laughs> they didn't mention it. To the I think that was just the fault of ambiguity and um, foreshadowing, yeah. but being kind of ambiguous about it. Yeah, well, because, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's something where, because, like, the whole, like, sell your soul thing, like, that's, that comes up a lot. It's just, like, you know, it's a bad thing, not, like, a literal thing, right? So, mm. yeah. But again, especially if you, yeah, already, know, if you already yeah. know about it, it, like, you know, then you're primed to kind of be thinking about that when it comes up, so. Yeah. I had known about it because I think Maya explained it when we were at the convention. She was like, oh, look, they're selling the soul gems. And I was like, wait, what's a soul gem? Oh. And Maya explained it to me. And oh, I, was, I forgot oh. about that. <laughs> Maya, you're bad. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, so that's what happened. So then when they said sell their soul and everything, I was like, okay, yeah, that's what, they're what, what she means by that. She means physically selling the soul. And then they revealed this, and I was like, oh, oh. Oh, they don't know. Okay. The girls don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was me. I was like, oh, okay. I, I got you. I, I got how this is supposed to actually roll. <laughs> okay, I guess since you brought her up, um, Homura, the big mystery uh, girl out of everyone. I how mean, do you, what do you think of her? She's still the big mystery. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything because I can't. <laughs> Okay. Because I know the things. What the? Okay, so what the fuck is the point then? If you just know everything about the damn show, come on, jeez. <laughs> I, I I told because fan art. It wasn't actually my fault. It's like fan art at uh. conventions and stuff like that. What do you want me to do? Uh, not go to conventions like a normal human being. <laughs> <laughs> You're you, the one who's abnormal. You squeeaboo. <laughs> Okay, so Valen, do you have any predictions then? I, 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 okay. I generally don't like making predictions about like media stuff because that's fair. The, the main reason is that like I find that when I if I do make a prediction, oftentimes I'll it's the uh, oh, okay. I find that a lot of people they'll make a prediction and then they'll like really hype themselves up on their own prediction, and then when their prediction turns out to be wrong they will then immediately shit on it, even if it's not actually that it's bad. Mm. So because of that, I specifically try to avoid it. Um, you mean fandom culture? Yeah, basically. So I, I don't know. I am Okay, I mean, if I had to, somehow, like, the four of them... Just one. I don't know. The four of them team up to destroy Cubay somehow for some reason. There. I don't know. <laughs> okay. That, that's, that's all I can think of. I, I don't know anything that's more specific than that. That's good enough for me. Sure, okay, that's... Wait. I, I, I did think of one thing, I can at least talk about Homer in terms of, like, how I think of her as a character up until this point. Because even though I knew know all the spoilers and everything, I didn't actually beat any of these characters until I watched them. So, like, for instance, judging from the fan art and the things that Mai told me about Sayaka, I would... I, went into this thinking she had a completely different personality than what I actually saw. <laughs> She's an interesting character because I started out, like, when I first watched it, I didn't like her, but that was kind of because at the time I was going through a similar thing as her and I didn't want to see that. So mm -hmm. once I got older, I can appreciate Sayaka. I think 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's my second or third favorite character now, um, because Kyoko is my favorite. But um, I definitely understand her. I thought going into it that she was actually going to be the shy girl. So the first, so when she gets introduced, that kind of changed my whole perspective about it. Yeah, she's the had that impression. Because now thinking about it, I'm like, no, wait, no, but that makes sense now. But I don't know why I thought that she was shy or something. Because she has blue hair. I guess maybe I thought that she That's was... That's a common like, trope in anime nowadays. Like, blue-haired like, shy girl. Ooh. I feel like that wasn't what I thought of. I think it was that I thought because... I knew about the fact that she, like, with Kyosuke and everything, so for whatever yeah, reason, like, I was under the impression that she was the shy girl who didn't, like, I thought it was a different trip where it's, like, the shy girl who doesn't, like, confess her feelings. I didn't even take into consideration her hair. I kind of <laughs> just thought that that was what it was. But, yeah, that's not how, if, you, if any viewers thought that that was what how she is, it's not... I guess. <laughs> um, Homura, I feel like I kind of get her in terms, but I kind of don't at the same time. She's weird. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. the the portrayal is clearly that like you're not supposed to know what her deal is yet. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like at first. I'm saying that even knowing the twist, I still don't completely no. understand some things. Well, well to be fair, twist. you well, you don't know it in the context of the show, though. So. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying that even, like, through osmosis and stuff like that, there are certain things that you can't get and things yeah. like that. Yeah, so... Yeah, again, I'm, I... My thought to pretty much every character is that, like, I don't, like, think any of them are amazing, um, mm. But I do yeah. think at least they're either they fill the role they're supposed to, or um, they again, like I said before, where like even if they don't make good decisions, you kind of see where they're coming from with their not good decisions. Um, yeah. So because again, it's one of those things where it's like you could very easily be frustrated at a character for like making a bad decision, but like the it's portrayed in a way where it's like the, okay, you get it though. So yeah. Kind of my outlook on. Uh, anything else for us before we kind of give a overall thing? Um, I don't think so. I think that's all I can really think of. Okay. Well, then the okay. the question is then, what do we feel about this in terms of watching more of it? Overall, I think it was well. Obviously, it wasn't Tokyo Mew Mew, so <laughs> that was already. <laughs> Plus. That was a plus. <laughs> that, was, that was already a plus. And it, I kind of, I agree with Valen where, like, I don't have a problem with most, like, like, the characters in terms of, like, disliking them or anything. I mean, Mommy was kind of, is she's weird. She's the black sheep. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of strange and everything, but I was kind of generally okay with her for whatever screen time she had. <laughs> um, would I continue watching it? Maybe? <laughs> I feel like it's kind of a thing where you... At least for me personally, I feel like I would want to watch it with like other people. That way you kind of also get a sense of what's... Like you can like go back and forth and figure out certain things, but I don't think I would want to mm. watch it by myself personally. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, take on it. That too, I feel like there are other things that I would probably watch over it still, but yeah, I mean, if you guys ever want to finish it, then I'm not going to be against it. So I guess I'm taking Balan's approach from the last one. <laughs> well, um, this is, again... To buck the stereotype here, I kind of want to finish watching this, like, right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, partly just because I don't have anything else to do right now. Uh, but <laughs> um, 
I, again, I, I just legitimately, like, just really want to know what's going to happen. Like, it's, so, again, I don't, like, love anything right now. Um, and mm. I don't, I could, I, I don't know, I could see something happening that could, like, bump this up significantly, but it, it, I'm curious enough to see where this is going. And it, also the fact that, like, what helps for why I would want to watch, like, this instead of, like, over, uh, kind of what I said about Detective Conan last time, is that there's not as much of this that I would have to watch. So, <laughs> that helps. Yeah, there's, like, more episodes. <laughs> yeah, so I'm already 50% done. That helps. Instead of, like... <laughs> I think more than 60. Like, more than 50. I, like... Well, there's 12 episodes. We saw six of them, so... I thought there's 11. There's 12? I thought there was 11, too, but I checked. I think there's... 12. Okay, whatever. Oh, okay, but yeah, never mind. Com compared happy. to what? Uh, let's see, 0.4% of Conan I saw. <laughs> so, yeah, a little different. Um, so that's part of it. Um, and again, I also just, because it's shorter and also how this is kind of like one single, like, story. Mm. So that helps yeah. more in terms of, like, I want to finish the story. Where it's like, again, in terms of Conan, I kind of can't do that. <laughs> so, mm. you know, um... That's kind of my outlook on it. Again, I don't, like, love this or think it's, like, one of my favorite things of all time or anything like that. But um, I definitely want to... I'm curious. I want to just finish it up and know what happens. So I'm just kind of interested to see what your opinion of the ending is. Because I was... It never really... Like, I never really found any closure with the ending. Mm. And, like, with the third movie, I still not, don't have any closure with the ending. Wait, okay. So how do the movies work with relation to the show? Okay. So... That's a good there question. Was, there was the show. So then they came up with three movies. One and two are, um, like, the first seven episodes and then the last five episodes of the anime each, but with better production. So it's not as janky looking. Okay. Hmm. They also, like, either shortened or added certain aspects into the movies. They're kind of inconsequential, though, so I didn't push to watch them. Hmm. The third movie is kind of the epilogue slash penultimate finale of the series but I have mixed feelings about it which is why I um, I was saying how it made me like have to think about certain things when I came back to it or um, like before when I wasn't um, like actively watching it again so um, I don't know it's a ride <laughs> okay so would you say that like if I finished this the show and then watched the third movie I wouldn't be confused? No. Okay. You need to watch the show or the first two movies to watch the third movie because okay. I think maybe the first two movies were there for people who didn't watch the anime because maybe they okay. thought that it makes weird. sense, yeah. Yeah, so I think they might have released them back to back. Um, so that was that. So if you watch the, sh the series and then watch the third movie, you would be fine. Okay. But at There's the same time, though, you're, you're you're not heavily, uh, glowingly endorsing. You have to see the third movie to fully get the experience. You're not saying that. Yeah, I mean, maybe you might find it interesting because okay. um, it has... It's it's not a happy ending. I'll at least say that um, okay. with the movie. I mean, that okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you want to watch it and then talk about it with me, then... That'd be great because by the time I watched the third movie, no one I had no friends who watched it, so <laughs> I haven't been able to like talk about the third movie and how it made me feel slash not feel. Okay. Well, uh we'll see. We'll see. It's not even nine PM. I'll see how much I can knock out here um, <laughs> today. I don't know. Let's let's see how much I can power through my uh the fact that I'm an old man now and I get tired by eleven. <laughs> That's fine. Um, uh, well, anyway, I guess we're, we're done talking about I, I guess, yeah, we talked this for a while. Yeah. Um, oh, well, we have to thing for the next thing. Oh, yes. Because we are back to the, the movie schedule standard, and... Oh, because uh, Holes was a random pick, so we random a replacement, and it just so happened to be Prince of Egypt. Um, <laughs> I love this movie. I saw it once, like, a long time ago, and I get it was something where, like, I knew, you know, I remember liking it then, but, like, I, I've seen so many people that, like, this is, like, a masterpiece, and I, again, I just want to see it again, just to kind of appreciate mm. it again. So, I'm glad that that, that showed up on there. <laughs> yes. But... Something to hope against the Bollywood movie and the musical. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. I know there is a lot of singing in this movie. 
Yeah, but it's like good. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Uh, okay, anyway, uh, so we are getting, next we are getting The Green Mile. Okay. okay. I've never watched The Green Mile. I... All I know is that it has a downer ending. <laughs> and it has Tom Hanks. See, okay, I know this is wrong, but every time I hear Green Mile, my first, I always, like, confuse it with 8 Mile. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which is the Eminem movie? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's the, the one problem where I'm like, I always like that's my immediate thought. Is it like, oh yeah, it's with Eminem? We're like, no, it's not shit. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know anything about this movie like at all. I, again, there's the poster, but like it doesn't really show anything. It's just like the dude. So yeah, all I know is that it's sad. <laughs> okay, well, uh... yeah, I guess with that in mind, let's go henceforth. Yes, we'll. Go green. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Save the trees. <laughs> That's why it's called Green Mile, right? It's just Tom Hanks planting trees. <laughs> He's actually Johnny Appleseed. Oh. So uh, why he has the roll of four scum <laughs> to him. <laughs> oh, Sounds like we have to stop. Yeah, we've just over 40 minutes. Oh, God. Okay. Ah, bye. Okay, bye. Bye.